I get more questions on my YouTube channel and Facebook and the glforum.com about Bluetooth headsets for the 2018 Goldwing. So I've been promising a video for some time talking about this subject. And a lot of you want to know which one's the best one to buy. Well, a lot of that may be, depend on your writing style. So I'm going to tell you about my experience, what I use the Bluetooth headset for, and the one I like and why I like it. But I've also asked Don Smith, another 2018 Honda Goldwing rider. In fact, this is his bike over my shoulder. And he's going to talk about which Bluetooth headset he likes and why he likes it. So that's what we're going to talk about today on Cruise Man's Garage. I want everything that uh, Honda has designed in for owners of the iPhone. I have an Android phone, a Samsung Galaxy S6, connected to the bike through Bluetooth. And then I have my Bluetooth headset also connected to the bike. So I don't have my phone connected directly to uh, the headset. So everything goes through the bike. I ride mostly alone, often with a group, occasionally uh, with my wife on back. And so we like to intercom. And so I recently went through several Bluetooth uh, attachments, uh, communicators, uh, looking for the best that would not only communicate with the, the Honda, but also intercom with my wife. And I was also anxious to try the new mesh uh, technology. My riding style is more individual solo riding. I don't ride in a group, so I have no real need for bike-to-bike -bike communication. And I very rarely ride with a passenger nowadays, so I don't even need uh, rider-to-passenger communication. Pretty much everything is mine is solo. I like to take advantage of everything that Honda designed into the 2018 Goldwing. Uh, that is supposed to take advantage of an iPhone. Now, when it comes to listening to music, I tend to use the music through the motorcycle. I don't listen to music from my, my uh, Samsung phone. I will sometimes listen to MP3 files through the USB connector on the bike, and I will listen to XM radio and things like that, but everything comes through the bike as far as music. I used to listen to music from my phone before I had XM Satellite, which I could get on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Once I got satellite radio, I never again listened to music on my phone, but that's just a personal choice. I have the ability to uh, listen to music on my phone. I can press the Siri button and say uh, to shuffle motorcycle playlist. It'll find the motorcycle playlist I have on my iPhone uh, and shuffle the order of music, and I can listen to that. Or I can switch over to uh, XM Satellite Radio. I don't have any external uh, products like radar detectors uh, or GPS right now. I am planning to add an external GPS that I will have connected to the Bluetooth headset, but right now I don't. With the iPhone connected, CarPlay active, and so many choices between the apps on CarPlay and the apps built into the 2018 Goldwing, I don't use any other uh, device on the, on the bike. I read a lot of reviews from people regarding the Cena 30K. And even though it's kind of the latest, greatest model from Cena, uh, a lot of people reported problems with it. In fact, everybody I read that had the 30K ended up returning it and going to either the 20S or the 20S Evo. Uh, I tried the 30K and found its mesh networking confusing, but the deal killer uh, was that it, it ran down its battery too soon. I decided to try the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. And I, even though I haven't really used the mesh networking feature of that product where you use that to communicate with a passenger or with a group, I haven't tested that. But from a solo rider standpoint, I've been very happy with it. It seems to have good sound quality. It was easy to pair with the bike. And what I like about it is the profile is just a little bit smaller than the Cena 20S. So it makes it easier to fit in the trunk of the Goldwing. And as you know, we don't have much room in that 2018 Goldwing trunk. The Pack Talk Bold 
in a much more clear way would switch from Bluetooth intercom to mesh networking intercom. And, but I did not like those three little buttons. Just didn't like them. I also tried the PacTalk uh, with the low profile, and I really didn't like that one, uh, the, the mechanics of it. But the Bold, uh, I really wanted the Bold to work, and I'd heard good things about its mesh networking. It's very clear if you're in Bluetooth or mesh, because the light would go from blue, Bluetooth, to uh, red for the, um, for the um, mesh networking. Uh, but I couldn't get it to fully function with the, the Honda 2018. I could not get Siri to hear my voice. Now, Cruise is not having a problem uh, making phone calls and the like. Why I was, I don't know. But I could not get my voice to be delivered to Siri or to the CB radio that I had installed on the 2018 Goldwing. I got the Cena 20S uh, probably six or eight months ago. I actually was using it on my 2012 Goldwing with Bluetooth and uh, never really had any problems with it. Uh, when I got the 2018, I was able to get it to pair. Uh, it worked fine. I um, did notice, I, I did test it with a passenger and I noticed a lot of delay between the time you start talking to your passenger and the, and the time it would take to cut off the music. Uh, it did cut the music back on at the end of the conversation. I didn't have any problem with that. And I didn't have any problem with the quality of the sound. But uh, there just seemed to be, a, the voice activation seemed to have a, a pretty good delay to it. So I set out, when my old 20S died, I set out to get something with mesh networking. And in both the case of the Cena 30K and the PacTalk Bold, uh, it was a non-starter. So I went back to the 20S Evo. I stepped up to the Evo. Uh, I, I'm told that it essentially the same uh, communicator, except that it doesn't have a flip-up antenna. And, and the, I found that the little rubber cap over the connector where you charge it would never seat right on the 20S, but it seats perfectly on the 20S Evo. So uh, I just went back to the 20S, but with the Evo uh, configuration, uh, and it works beautifully. I've read that Honda used it to uh, make sure there was compatibility uh, with all its offerings. And so my 20S Evo, as did my 20S, works just beautifully with the uh, 2018 Goldwing. I can talk to Siri, I can tell Maps to take me somewhere, I can uh, do all sorts of things. But in practice, um, CarPlay, I really wanted CarPlay um, when I was shopping for the bike. And, but in use, I find I don't listen to music on my phone. I do find value in using the Siri. For me, the Cardo Pack Talk Bowl does everything I need it to do. It has the smaller profile, it has good sound quality. For a solo rider, I think it's a good choice. I also like the fact that they advertise that it's waterproof. Now, if you look at where the contact points are on the Cardo compared to the Cena, the Cena, they're down at the bottom. Now, it looks like that's a place where water could collect, and Cena doesn't advertise their headsets as being waterproof, but Cardo does. So I ride through rain quite a bit. So for that reason, plus the lower profile, good sound quality, I'm a Cardo guy. For the moment, I would have liked mesh networking, uh, mesh intercom, uh, but that's just not there yet. So uh, the Cena 20S and Cena 20S Evo and I prefer the Evo for cosmetic purposes, but they're, I'm told, are mechanically, electronically the same. Uh, they are the, that's the model that Honda says that, uh, that they designed around to make sure that was the um, Bluetooth headset that was compatible. And 
it's been my experience that it is indeed compatible. So if uh, I were buying a 2018 Goldwing today, uh, I would get for now the 20S, the Cena 20S Evo. Well, I hope this video gives you a pretty good idea of what Don and I think about the Bluetooth headsets that we've had a chance to try. Obviously, there are other Bluetooth products on the market we haven't had a chance to test. And if you've had a chance to try these and had a good or bad experience, please let us know in the comments down below. I know we'd love to read about it. And if you like this video, you want more videos like this, please take a minute to subscribe down below and click on that little bell icon if you want to be notified of future videos. So this is a subject that's going to go on for quite some time. Honda's got some work to do with compatibility issues on other Bluetooth devices, so I'm sure updates are coming down the road. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.